so hello girls and welcome back to a new video hope you are doing great today i'm back with a new video where i'm gonna show you uh, my uh, most worn and favorite shoes and my least worn and disappointing shoes which in a way i regret buying and i'll show you how but i still love the style of them i just you know don't like a few things on them and we're gonna talk about it so the shoes are mostly uh, these shoes are mostly worn uh, both season summer and uh, winter and uh, they're mostly flat uh, I do wear most of the time flat because of uh, my lifestyle uh, I cannot walk in heels the whole day and if uh, you've been following my channel uh, by now you will know that I travel a lot and whenever I go to a different city I tend to walk a lot throughout the day so I cannot wear heels unless they're super comfortable and uh, they're you know I can wear uh, I can wear them and walk with them the whole day so before I start with the first pair, I just want to uh, share with you uh, what I clean my shoes with. So I use Clorox usually to disinfect the uh, bottom of my shoes, the, the heel, let's say, uh, to clean all the uh, back, I mean the dirt and all before I st uh, restore before I store them into their boxes and I also uh, use it to clean the insole in case uh, there was like uh, dirt or anything so this just to let you know how I clean my shoes and I will start okay with the winter shoes which I recently bought so I recently bought these ones okay and these are called the Hoggle uh, or Hoggle Hoggle uh, shoes the brand is Hoggle so so these shoes are from the Hoggle brand and it's an Austrian brand. Uh, they look very basic when you look at them. What I liked about them is the heel. It's like, you know, one block heel and how uh, it is shiny. Uh, it is different from all other shoes, whether uh, they're pumps or whether they're block shoes. It looked stylish to me and simple in the same way. They look very nice and comfy in the same time. Uh, I have said it before, I walked in these shoes the entire day, I think more than 16 hours and I didn't feel tired uh, wearing them means I didn't feel uh, uh, my feet were sore or uh, in pain like with my other shoes. So this is the first pair which I like and I'm not disappointing, disappointed at all. And I'm definitely planning to buy uh, other pairs uh, of shoes from the same brand because it is worth it. Okay, we'll go into my flats and those, everybody knows, those are the Chanel flats. So this was my first pair, the black one. Uh, I bought this from Barcelona. I think I bought them last year. And uh, I wasn't planning to buy the black because, oh, oh no, okay, that's good. I thought the leather is, is damaged. Okay, so I was planning to buy the beige color, but they didn't have, I think. So I ended up buying these black ones. They're nice, but the only thing I should have uh, bought the bigger size. These were... 38 and a half uh, see with the design shoes I don't know why but my size is way more than normal like if I buy non-branded shoes let's say Zara 38 would fit me 39 will be slightly big but for the designer shoes 39 and up is my size 39 would be tight, but 39 and a half and even 40, I'm going to show you later, is perfectly fitting. So I don't know what's with the uh, uh, high-end brand sizes and why it's different, but anyway. So I like these shoes because, okay, they're simple, they're stylish. stylish. Uh, when you wear them, it's like, uh, it's not you wearing the shoes, it's the shoe wearing your feet. 
I don't know if you understand me, but you know it envelops your feet nicely to make it look uh, to make it look nice, and that's what I like with Chanel. It's the same with my other ballerina flats. It's like it adds to my feet and to my outfit, uh, and I like that about it. It's like you don't have to worry how to style uh, your clothing with your shoes. You just you know wear anything and you wear the shoes, and then you're set to go. Uh, maybe I've spoken about a few other things the same way, but I really mean it. These shoes, they make a difference. The ballerinas flat from Chanel, they really make a difference. I bought this for 570 euros, as I said, from Barcelona, and I got a tax refund. I think it was 75 euros. That's very good, imagine. So I ended up paying, let's say, 495 which is a very good deal. And of course, the next one, as you might have guessed, will be the beige ones from Chanel as well. So, these ones I bought from Doha, Qatar. And the reason I bought these, because I couldn't find them anywhere else. And when I went to, imagine these are, no, these not, 40. these are 39 and a half and they also fit perfectly they're very comfortable they don't uh, when I walk I'm very comfortable my my uh, my feet still uh, stay inside so they don't come uh, out because they're big or something no they are uh, fitting very well and like I said I think it's the shape of the shoe over here which makes you know your uh, feet look nice uh, in them so yeah I mean like they have this special thing in Chanel like they do they don't they do things uh, nicely and perfectly you know I've had so far few uh, items from Chanel and I do believe that, that they think about the product properly and you know about the quality before they produce something. I really like this uh, brand. Uh, it is most of the time a hate-love relationship. I don't know if you feel the same, but for me it's like, okay, it's too much money to spend on a shoe or on anything from Chanel. But once you wear it and you start using it, with time you start loving and uh, you... Uh, you admit that you paid for the quality, you really paid for the quality and it's worth every penny. And we'll finish with the last Chanel pair, which is still new. Look at this. Oh my god, I'm in love with this, you know. Forget about the espadrille, just look at the color. I don't know if you can see it properly, but the navy blue and you know... The CC in whites, oh my god. I was thinking earlier, you can wear a garbage bag and wear this espadrille and you look stylish. Simple. Tell me if you think differently or you think the same. But I love these shoes. I bought these from, hmm, is it Geneva or Zurich? Mm, Geneva, yeah, I bought this from Geneva and this was size 40. Okay, let me tell you why I bought size 40. I'm gonna talk later about my other espadrille, which is Yves Saint Laurent, which I also love, but I hardly wore because of the size. So, the espadrille especially, you have to be careful because even though they fit perfectly on the sides, this uh, upper side, it's very painful if you take your size. So for me, I think the Saint Laurent I took 38 and a half or 39. And I couldn't wear it because, you know, uh, how to say it? This blocked my feet, my upper feet, and it was super, super painful that I couldn't bear wearing uh, the shoe. So for that, I went for size 40 for Chanel and it was perfectly comfortable. It was not tight here. It was though a bit loose uh, behind, but it's okay as long as this side is okay because here it's more stiff and thicker. It's like double leather uh, here and this is very light. So these shoes, I forgot how much I bought them. Let me remember. 
how much how much how much I think it was five also 70 I think it was 570 francs yeah I'm not sure and did I get the tax yeah I got yeah I got the tax refund as well but in Switzerland you get much lesser than the rest of uh, Europe because I don't know they have less taxes I got only maybe six percent I'm honestly not sure so don't take my word for it but uh, I would the only reason I would buy from uh, Switzerland is if I don't find it anywhere and honestly the Chanel in uh, Switzerland they have especially in Geneva they have more stocks than any other Chanel in Europe hmm okay now we're coming to the slides or mule if you want to call them so this pair i didn't stop wearing basically look at it i'm sorry for the shape and for the state of it but i love them so much they're so comfortable you just slide your feet and walk that's it they're very nice very comfortable uh i was uh, planning to buy the uh, gucci but uh, the Gucci were very narrow and uh, it was uh, the toe side was much taller than the top. So, you know, when you put your feet, you have space here, but it is very tight uh, on the sides. So I didn't buy them and I went for the Todd's one which is which are good for white feet like mine and they're very comfortable and stylish plus this color it's between beige and caramel it's amazing it goes with everything you wear as well especially if you wear all black or just one color uh, it just goes with everything so these I love so much and how much I put these hmm Sorry, I forgot. I'll try to put, uh, if I remember, to put it in the description box. Okay, now, these ones. I don't think any of you knows these ones, but these are called, it's from Tory Birch, they're called Sienna uh, Slides. And the only thing I regret that I didn't buy all colors from this because I'll show you in the pictures the rest of the colors and how they are in the feet, how they slide. It's like amazing. They're very comfortable. Um, sorry, sorry. They're not very comfortable, but they're very stylish for, stylish for flats uh, and for slides. You can wear them with a dress, with a trouser, jeans, anything. And you go. These are navy blue. And I think I bought these hmm, two years ago, two years or one year and a half, I'm not sure anymore. I can't keep track of with the time. And I bought this from US, Story Birch US in Boston. As I said, I kept looking for the rest of the colors online, but I couldn't find them. They finish the collection and they didn't do it again maybe if uh, I can uh, go to an, a luxury outlet maybe I'll find them let me know if you see you saw them uh, anywhere or uh, you bought uh, them as well they're very nice uh, slides and as I said the way they slide in the feet <laughs> it is nice and the last one in my best shoes I think I forgot that I have these ones, so they're still new, but they're very nice. I wore them once when I went to Saint Laurent to buy my Lulu bag. These, look, I don't know if I can talk about them, but they're very stylish. Maybe they look too much when you look at them, but try and wear them. They had in black and they had this uh, creamy white and uh, brownish color they're very stylish when you wear them i wore these with a black skirt and uh, uh, i think a black t-shirt and they looked really nice these uh, were size 38 and a half but they fit me nicely i don't know why and how but they did fit me nicely uh maybe because they're not everyday worn like it's not for every day that's why i didn't reach to them and i didn't wear them much okay i don't know what's this uh oh i hope 
hope it's not peeling. Anyway, okay. So I yeah, I bought these in Doha uh, discounted. I think imagine in Doha they're discounted and they're two thousand rials. But the real price if you buy from Neta Porte or even in Europe is one one thousand five hundred. I think so. Three hundred fifteen pounds. How much is that? I think one thousand five hundred. So see how much how expensive Doha is. Anyway, uh, just for the first ones I showed you, the beige ones, I bought them from Neta Porte and they were 315 pounds. Uh, apparently for Neta Porte it depends from which place you buy, I mean like where you live, uh, the prices uh, differs and also the good uh, the thing I didn't like about Neta Porte although I like the prices and you know uh, their shipping uh, way they ship quickly I didn't like that they didn't put a shoe bag with the tots so the box came without a shoe bag and I emailed them and I never get a response till today so few things I don't like about Neta Porte so we'll end this video here because I think it took too long and then I will make another video with my uh, worst uh, shoes purchase and uh, what I don't like about them. Let me know what you think and I hope I wasn't very boring. Don't forget if you like the video to give it a thumb up and subscribe and until next time take care bye bye.